Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me at a very beautiful but quite small waterfall. And I decided to do something which I actually did about four months ago, was I used my telephoto lens for waterfall photography. But within this waterfall, I think there's a lot of little small intimate compositions. So with my long lens on, what I'm doing is I'm looking and seeing where the water is flowing through the rocks and also where it's hitting the rocks and there's the interplay between the water and the rocks. What I want to do is I want to try and get every single shot at half a second. I'm lucky because it's quite overcast right now so I don't have any harsh light to deal with. So I actually don't even need to have any filters to enable me to do this. I put my ISO at 50, I'm at F14, not ideal, but I'm at F14. Let's see how we go with it, and a half a second. And the first one that I've done here is just zooming into a little area within this where the water is flowing down between two sets of rocks. Nice shot to start me off. I'll give you a look at this one now, and then I'll talk to you when I find the next one. The next one I was found actually not far from the first one. I've just moved the camera up slightly and I'm now seeing the water come from above, hit a bit of a plateau and then come down to the next cascade. It's framed nicely by two dark rocks. And again, what I'm able to do now is stick at the half a second and there must be a bit of a darker cloud because I can now go to F11. So that's interesting now to be able to get this second shot. And again, making sure that I get it in focus. I'm focusing on the rocks. I don't need to focus on the water because that's going to be blurred anyway. So yeah, second shot, give you a look at that, next. The next one I'm showing you now is where the water is falling right below the camera here. And what that's allowing me to do is catch the water and see the water bouncing off the rock. Now, I'm still able to stick at my half a second and I'm at F11 as well. So yeah, another shot. Great to be able to do this as well and taking many, many shots from the one waterfall. For the next one, I've dropped the camera into portrait and I'm shooting right into a kind of a dark area. Now I'm looking mainly only at one rock and the water is cascading behind that. So I'm focusing on the rock and because it's darker as well, I'm able to go now as far as 7.1 by keeping my half a second ISO still at 50. So yeah, next shot, I'll give you a look at that and then we're gonna find some more. This one is actually a lovely shot. I think it's my favorite I've spotted so far. So as you can probably see, where my hand is here actually, this is the rock that I'm focusing on. Now, I'm quite close to it, like I am to you actually in the camera, but I have to focus that to be able to get the rock completely sharp. Even in the front, the middle, and the back of that one rock, I'm doing three shots. 
and then the water in the background the way that it's flowing i think it frames very very nice within the image now uh, because i'm going a bit higher as well i'm introducing back in more light so i'm back up now to f14 but f14 is still giving me that half a second giving me enough movement within the image and i really really like this one i'll give you a look at this and then we'll go and find the next I moved the camera probably around that much an inch and I'm now taking photograph of the water from the last one which has two cascades that are coming down left and right of the image I like the way they're actually bouncing as well in the interplay of the water there also now I'm still managing to get it at f14 and half a second but yeah only an inch and it gives me a completely different shot because I'm zoomed in to 200 mil that makes a big difference then to where that's actually seeing so Next shot, show you that. We're going to continue up the waterfall now as I see a couple more that I think will be nice shots also. Now for the next shot, um, what I have is a single flow of water that's coming down from the right hand side of the image. And again, there's a bit of rock in the front of that. I managed to having to focus stack three shots in relation to it. And what I was actually going to do is I said I'll record a piece to camera here to show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's the piece that's right above my head. But as I was recording the piece, I said I'd zoom in and then I noticed that it's actually framed, looks like it's framed nicely. So I'm going to go back to where approximately you are now and I'm going to zoom in to similar to what I would have done on the video that you've just seen and see if I can grab that shot as well. So yeah, I'll give you a look at both of these, the one that's zoomed all the way in and then the one that's zoomed a bit back out to try and frame it. Let me know actually in the comments which image you prefer. This is great fun altogether. I have managed to get a couple of more shots actually, a bit more close-ups. And then what I also did is I came back out a bit to kind of get all of the little elements that I would have taken in the one shot. And for that, I went at 70 mil, a number of shots to focus stack. Using manual focus, I can see exactly what's in focus, but I want to be able to make sure I get these shots absolutely pin sharp. It'd be pretty straightforward to put them together uh, in Lightroom or even on Photoshop but a fantastic experiment, fantastic fun to do, and I'm really, really hopeful now that the images will turn out. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you wanna watch some more episodes, I'd recommend this video here. Please hit the subscribe button, and until the next time, schlong the phone.